Hey, it's me, AG, and I wanted to share a little story with you. Hello! Okay, so I'm, I'm home, I'm in my living room. I am hydrating, I am snacking. This is the hot spicy Cheez-Its. Anyways, Sports Illustrated released their three beautiful covers, Lena Bloom, Naomi Osaka, and Megan Thee Stallion. They're so beautiful. I feel like all the covers are so powerful, gorgeous. It had me thinking, wow, my cover was five years ago. My life has completely changed in the last five years. I mean, I will say, <laughs> The moment that I got the cover and saw it for the first time, I knew that my life was gonna change forever because when the curtains came down off of each of our posters, it was Ronda Rousey and Haley Clausen and mine, I saw the cover and I, I knew immediately that my life was going to change forever. To the degree that I grabbed Nick Cannon's mic out of his hand and I said, I'm sorry, I just took the mic out of your hand. I'm gonna take over. <laughs> was. Big girls are here to stay. You know what I'm saying? Leading up to Sports Illustrated, I was like the catalog check, right? I was in every single catalog. I was in Target, JCP, Kmart, Kohl's. I had a lot of experience behind me and under my belt is what I'm getting at. 15 years of it, in fact. I never imagined seeing a girl like me on the cover of Sports Illustrated because first of all, it's never happened before. I hadn't even seen a girl my size in the pages. So IMG had suggested Sports Illustrated and I knew I was sexy as hell and I knew I had body yaddy and all the like TMA bay bay, but I just never had seen that before from Sports Illustrated and I didn't think that they were gonna be progressive enough to think outside the box and to think outside the box in such a big way. What was funny was that I had just put my whole vision board together and I had put Sports Illustrated title on my vision board. And if you wanna see more about my vision board, you can just watch this video, that one, this one. And what ended up happening was I got casted for a Swimsuits for All campaign that they were advertising in Sports Illustrated for the first time ever, and they wanted to use me. That was the headline news, was that here is a size 14 model in the pages of Sports Illustrated in an ad, but not actually in the SI search. So that first of all changed my life. You know, work excelled. I got a swimsuit um, line out of that with Swimsuits for All. I think Sports Illustrated saw how much their viewers liked seeing a girl my size in the pages that the next year, that's when they casted your girl. Hello. <laughs> so along with the positive, there was loads of negative and it, and it took me a long time to get to this place of people taking me seriously. And it was a Sports Illustrated cover that people actually started taking me seriously. Um, I had an agent ask me to lose weight. I had agents ask me to gain weight. You know, jobs would come and then they would be like, oh, well, your body type is in. This is where I realized that you're never gonna be in or out. You're just gonna be yourself. And that's the most important thing I think to always remember is that you have to tell yourself who you are and not let the world dictate who you are. Hey guys, I just woke up. She loves a messy pony, but I am on my way to the Nyx shoot and I wanted to bring you to set to show you how I carry the same confidence with me everywhere I go. <laughs> no matter the shoot, no matter what my body looks like that day. Sports Illustrated was such a big moment. I felt like it was my moment. And a couple pregnancies later, a lot has changed. My career, my body, but one thing that definitely, definitely, definitely has not changed is my perspective and my self-love. Remember that, you guys. All right, so we just finished the active wear for NYX, and I'm headed to the bathroom for the millionth time. Joanna's here. Hi. <laughs> She's so happy the founder. To the bathroom. Yeah, constantly. <laughs> I'm eating everything inside. I just smashed some celery and peanut butter. It was delish. It's a situation. 
Okay, so before the Sports Illustrated shoot that I, I did, yes, I was I was nervous, but I was also excited because, hello, she's been modeling for 15 years. She knows what she's doing. But I did think about the fact that I was gonna be wearing itsy bitsy teeny weeny little swimming suits that were probably gonna be string bikinis. So I thought, how am I gonna pose and like how my body looks like cute and snatched, but also like, you know, so you can see all of it and that I wasn't hiding because I didn't want to hide. So I actually opened up the latest Sports Illustrated that was in the room and I saw Emily DiDonato in there and she was doing this one where she was like on her knees and then kind of bent forward on her hands in the sand. I started practicing that one in the mirror and that was the one that was on the cover. <laughs> also, people always ask me like, did you have any nerves after the shoot? No, 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 no. I didn't have any nerves after the shoot. I just knew that I looked so good that, that I had nothing to be nervous about, so. You can call me Miss Competent all you want, but hello, didn't she look good? <laughs> it was actually, to be completely honest, it was my third issue of Sports Illustrated that was my favorite, just to be honest. Okay, so at the end of the day, you might have some self-doubts, and believe me, I have them too, but you have to put yourself in the right places, trust yourself, take a leap of faith, and go with your gut. Um, that's just jumping right in. It's gonna be so exciting. It's gonna be a little bit of a nerve wracking experience, but truly unbelievably worth it. Take care of yourself. And then you can end up here at the beach, like me, or with me. Let's hang out.